Hello and welcome to DVB English News. I'm Joe, and this week's headlines. Lawyers petition ASEAN to establish a fact-finding mission for Myanmar. Kareni and Ketchen armed groups call for continued resistance against the military. And the National League for Democracy expels Henry Van Tiel for meeting with the regime. The Chen Human Rights Organization, along with lawyers from the Philippines and Indonesia, have petitioned ASEAN to establish a permanent envoy to Myanmar. Human rights lawyers from the Philippines signed the petition and called on ASEAN to create a fact-finding mission to investigate war crimes. Other signatories to the petition include the Indonesian legal scholars Ferry Amsari and Shalai El Gifari. The two initiated legal proceedings against Myanmar's military at Indonesia's constitutional court under universal jurisdiction. The petition was welcomed by Burmese human rights activists. Countries around the world have opened up cases against Myanmar for crimes committed by the military and senior officials. In 2019, the Gambia opened its Rohingya genocide case at the International Court of Justice. And in 2021, an Argentine court opened an investigation of crimes committed against the Rohingya under universal jurisdiction. The Kareni National Progressive Party commemorated the 79th anniversary of Kareni National Resistance Day on August 9th. It called on Kareni people to continue to resist military rule. More than 200,000 people in Kareni state have been displaced from their homes due to violence, and over 400 people have been killed in attacks by the military. The KNPP stated that it will join forces with other ethnic nationalities to build a federal democratic union. The Ketchen Independence Organization commemorated Ketchen Martyrs Day on August 10th. KIO Chairperson Nban La said that the military regime in Naypyidaw's days were numbered. Ketchen Martyrs Day commemorates the assassination of KIO KIA founder Latal Zhao Seng and others killed in 1975. The National League for Democracy, or NLD Party, announced that it expelled second vice president Henry Van Tio. The NLD Central Committee made the announcement on August 9th. It stated the reason for the expulsion was because he attended the National Defense and Security Council meeting on July 31st. Henry Van Tiao was elected as the NLD representative for Dantalang Chin State in the 2015 elections. He was re-elected in an NLD landslide victory in 2020, but the NLD government was ousted during the 2021 military coup. State Councilor Aung San Suu Kyi and President Nguyen Myint have been imprisoned ever since. Both are serving prison sentences, reduced on August 1st as reported in last week's episode. Henry Van Tiel served as Myanmar's Vice President from 2016 to 2021. And that's all for DVB English News. Tune in again next week for the latest headlines. I'm Joe. Thanks for listening.